What's going on guys? I have a super special surprise for you today. I've only filmed two of these on the channel, period. I don't even know if the other one's up yet. You're just gonna have to go over there and check it out. But this is another triple wide by Palm Harbor. So it's a little loud, we're right by I-5. Um, so all I'm gonna do is we'll do a little video montage and hop right into it. All right, this is the Timber Ridge Elite. This is 2,700 square foot, triple wide manufactured home. All right, so right as we walked in, we ran into a nice little coat closet. The entryway, another big one. Man, these triple wides, I tell you what, they get me. Oh, reverse, reverse. And I tell you what, I don't ever know where to start in these things. I guess let's go ahead and start here in the living room. This is only the second triple wide home I've ever been in. And what that means, if you're unfamiliar with it, just means that this is a three section home where you would have normally like a single wide, which is a one section home. You have a double wide, which is made up of two separate sections. This one is made up of three separate sections. Really fancy. Now we did walk through another one just a little bit ago. They have two here at Homes Direct. And man, they were both. Once you get done watching this one, if this is the first one that you've seen, definitely go check out that one. I just, I get lost in it. Beautiful tile. Now this is more like a mahogany color, I guess, for the cabinets. I know a lot of people, they hate like the, we've done the hickory, we've done the pine. And I know people love it's hit or miss with the white and gray. Let me know what you think about this more mahogany color. And then the tile on the kitchen floor. Your little mini island. I want to show you something a little different. Again, you have the crown molding going around, but right here, looking into the kitchen, it's kind of like a little cutaway, just like a little beam. So that's pretty neat. In this you have, I like here because in this kitchen, you have access to communicate with people out there in your dining room. You can socialize with people out here in your living room. And then you just walk in to your pantry. Now this is a four bedroom, I think three bath home. So it's like a maze back here. So I'm gonna go ahead and at the end of this video, I'll put up the floor plan just to let you check it out like I always do. So let me know what you think about it. This one's a little different. All 
right, and then coming down the hallway. Your utility closet, little folding table, washer dryer hookups. Now I would imagine one is a hot water heater and one, oh, proven wrong. You're wrong. closet and another closet Damn. got him coach there's your furnace all right then coming into your what is this the second bedroom Tell you, there's too many rooms in here. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Kind of get a feel. Decent sized rooms, really nice. Kind of a standard closet size. Again, if you've noticed, there's no paneling. All right. So I guess this is another den. Has these double doors on both sides on this side and over here this is where you lock the kids up just kidding I would never And then you can come back through and there you go. You got your dining room and living room. And then here is your second bathroom. Now on the last one we saw, one of the bedrooms ended up having an ensuite. This one doesn't, but it is right next to the third bedroom and easily accessible from your dining room or den area. And then I guess the other bathroom would be more so just for the other two bedrooms. Now this bedroom is a lot larger. So I guess this would be like a guest, maybe a guest bedroom. All right, I've been messing up lately. I've been showing you all the, the master bedrooms first, but I'm getting smarter. <laughs> Just kidding. I almost did it earlier. I walked over here and then uh, I had to back out and go again. All right, so let's start here. This is your closet. First, let's do this. Let's do a grand entrance. All right, so here, now it is right by the front door, but it has kind of separates itself with these two double doors. And it's more like a grand suite. Like that's what, that's what the feel is. So you come straight in, you got, it's like your own house within a house. So to the right is your master closet which is just, I mean, it's, this is a whole nother bedroom. This is the size of the other three bedrooms I've just shown you. Wow. And then coming into the actual master bedroom. Let me know about that closet. Do you think it's a giant waste of space? or you can fill it up faster than it takes to cook a hot dog in the microwave. <laughs> that was dumb. Anyway. And here goes your master bathroom, ensuite, with double vanities, large double vanities, I might add. They're 
a lot of space on both of them. Separated by your giant tub, soaking spa. All right, now I, I'm not a fan of the metal shower surround. That's just, there's too much. That's just me though. I like the ones that just kind of come over with the tile stop and you walk in. But either way, this has two shower heads. A bench. And then your water closet. All right, what are we thinking this one's gonna cost us? This one, it's actually 100 square foot smaller than the other triple wide that I just went through a little bit ago. And I'll leave a link for that one down in the description if you haven't seen that one. And this one is just a little bit less. So this one, the base price on this is $190,000. And uh, that cost can vary depending on your location and where you have to move it to and a whole bunch of other factors. So definitely reach out to your local Palm Harbor dealer and see what they can do for you. If you're over here on the West Coast, definitely check out Homes Direct. And as always, guys, my name's Timothy. I'll see you in the next one.